Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So, in this video, we are going to attempt to case harden a Harbor Freight uh, cast iron anvil. I've got my good friend here, Thomas Goodymoot, the hand model, illustrious hand model. High five, Thomas. <laughs> there we go. And we have bought another Harbor Freight anvil in to be able to basically destroy. If you haven't watched the other video where we actually attempted to quench a Harbor Freight uh, cast iron anvil and see if we could get any hardness, I suggest you check out that video. It'll be linked up here or down in the description. So without further ado, let's just get right into this and see if we can make it go. So before we get going here real quick, I am using Cherry Red. Um, this is five pounds of instant hardening compound. Uh, this as it says, fat, a fast acting steel case hardening compound that quickly and easily produces quality results. Well, we'll find that out, whether that's any good for a Harbor Freight Amble. So I will be following the directions exactly as they are on this can. One thing I want to take and point out is that uh, it says how to use cherry red. I want to mention on number three here, you guys can, I'll put a picture up here so you can watch, you can read the whole thing. But on number three, it says quench in water, oil, or let cool and brush off excess compound. So that part right there is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing the later part, which we're just going to let it cool and then brush off the excess compound. My assumption is, is that it's going to produce a lot less hardness uh, in that case versus if you quenched it in water or oil. But as we did in our previous test, again, watch that video you'll know why we're just going to let it cool naturally instead of quench the thing off. So with that out of the way, let's get to doing this. Watch it, it's coming back this way. There we go. Alright. This should go without saying, you need to do this in a well ventilated area. And I am probably adding way too much case hardening compound on this. You could probably go a little bit lighter with it, but we're gonna to try to get our best results possible. Better have too much than not enough. Okie doke folks, here we are. Say hi Thomas. Hi guys. All right, so we're gonna use this hard, hardness testing kit. Oh, don't move it out of the way. Uh, from Subosan. Um, this one you guys seen in the previous video. You can check the link for that down in the description down below, the Amazon affiliate link if you will. 
But this tests all the way from 40 HRC all the way up to 65 HRC. And we are going to go ahead and test to see whether our case hardening actually did anything or not. We did wire wheel the top of this anvil. Um, it hasn't gotten shiny. Now, I haven't ground this because if you grind it, I'm not really sure how far that case hardening compound goes down uh, into the actual surface. So you might just grind it all away there. Uh, so we want to do as true to testing as we can. So we're going to test it over here on the horn first, Thomas, with 65 Rockwell. Bites right in. Yeah, it bites really nice and hard. And now we're going to test it right across the face. And it's biting. Okay, it bites really good into the face. Let's move on to 60 Rockwell. Of course, we know the horn's soft. The horn will be probably about 40 Rockwell. So again, we didn't try to harden this horn. So let's just focus on here now. Yep, it bites right in, as you guys can see there. Let's go ahead and do 55. Looks like it's biting. Biting. Pretty easily. There's 50. We're doing the 50 rock well. And that's a skate. A little bit of a skate right there to it. it, but right back here, that's all skating. Okay, so a little unevenness there. Um, try it might get it might be getting plugged up. Lay it more flat and see if it bites. Does it bite a little bit further back? A little bit, a little. Yeah. All right, so let's go down one. It's making scratches, but it but it looks no, like it's, it's skating and pretty good. So not biting. Okay, and let's go for the last one. It should be mostly skating. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just skating there. So again, so it's somewhere between about that. Uh, I guess we would have to call it right around that 40 to 45 Rockwell amount, wouldn't we? Because 50, it was still biting some. And again, this is all subjective <laughs> a little bit. You might press bite. down harder and you can bite. It might bite in. Again, I don't know how deep that surface hardness is. But again, so it's between 40 and 45 Rockwell. Uh, and, and again, that is probably surface level deep. So enough of that testing, Thomas. Let's do the good old fashioned ball bearing drop test. As you can see, we've got our ball bearing drop test rig here that we use in the other video. Let's go ahead and put that up there, buddy. And now this is going to be, you know, everybody says that this is where hardness comes into play. <laughs> but we'll see how true that is. So up there, this is a two foot long tube. So I'm going to go ahead and start about there and let's see what we got, bud. Drop Three, it. Three, two, one. Ooh, not good. All right, we're going to drop it again. I'm going to lower my expectations. <laughs> We probably just made this anvil worse. All right, go ahead. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, move it to somewhere else on the anvil. Slide around a bit. There you go. Let's try it out almost to the end there. And lower expectations again. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. We have dents. You know, we got dents in it there. So as you can see, it did not case harden. Okay, so what to say about this thing then? Um, clearly, it did not work. <laughs> it did not suit its intended purpose. Uh, I know the cherry red case hardening compound is supposed to be a really good, uh, a really good case hardening compound. And uh, we actually tried it on a piece of mild steel before doing this. And uh, the 60 Rockwell would just skate right off of it. Uh, so I, it's not, I don't think it's a problem with the cherry red. I think it's just has something to do with it being cast iron. I'm not a metallurgist. I'm a blacksmith, but I get all these questions people want to know. So I'm spending my money out here on the internet uh, to entertain you. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> and now we're demonetized officially yeah. so <laughs> um, if you are interested in picking up a bucket of that cherry red i will 
I'll include some affiliate links down in the description down below. Over on Amazon right now, they're about 50 bucks for a pound of the stuff. Uh, I didn't even use anywhere close to a pound. It's really lightweight, almost like a talcum powder. You guys saw it in the video. Um, so a pound would last somebody a really, really long time, just not for this purpose. So that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you to all the channel members who make content on this channel possible. We really couldn't do it without you. God bless each and every last one of you out there. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next video. Oh, and by the way, feel free to discuss down in the comment section down below.